the single layer perceptron. I mean, it was revolutionary for its time, but its function was surprisingly simple, right? Oh, incredibly simple. Conceptually, it was trying to mimic a basic biological neuron. It takes a bunch of real valued inputs, mm -hmm. you know, X1 through Xn, yeah, right. and it assigns a weight, a Wy, to each one. And that weight just represents the strength of that connection. So it's like a little volume knob for each input. Exactly. Then it just does a weighted sum, a linear combination of those inputs and weights. And it adds a bias term, W0. And that bias term, which is often just treated as another weight connected to an input that's always set to 1, that's basically the trigger point, the threshold. Precisely. The output is a simple binary choice. 1, if that weighted sum goes over the threshold, and zero if it doesn't. Geometrically, that's just a straight line. A single straight line or, you know, a flat plane, a hyperplane in higher dimensions, it just divides the input space in two. A digital switch making a linear decision. And that right there, that was its crippling weakness. The failure that basically stopped the entire field of neural networks dead in its tracks for years. The infamous XOR problem.